Good day, welcome to King Williams Everything. Today we got something that you might find interesting. I don't know if you know what this is. Do you recognize what this is? Um, this is something, something naughty. And something you shouldn't use. But this came to the Great America Shores probably um, 10, 12 years ago. Direct from China. And you can see it has no markings whatsoever other on the bottom. It has this nice A full little hologram. It says little charge LED and power. That's it. And three antennas. Three removable antennas. But, oh, and a power, and a power switch. On and off. Both features. On and off. So that's, that's really good to have. That. But this is a cell phone jammer. I don't know if you ever, every now and then you'll notice that uh, on the news somebody will be on a train, uh, it's people's cell phones don't work, and then they get busted because they're jamming cell phones. That's what this does. And it does more than just that. Uh, the 2.4 gigahertz, so your, uh, your Wi-Fi, it really messes with that. Uh, but mainly this was for cell phones. And you can see it has the three removable antennas. And they're uh, little SMA connectors, nothing special. And we're going to take this apart. We'll take a look at the circuit board. You can build these. But like I said, most people that have these, uh, they use it to, you know, shut up your cell phone. You know, like on trains, uh, restaurants, um, that kind of thing. You know, so if you notice, hey, my cell phone's not working, or you have no signal, it could be somebody, somebody with one of these, especially, you know, Kind of get it because you know you're in a restaurant trying to eat and there's somebody next table to you just talking away on or you're on a on a train people just chatting away as loud as possible this shuts them up and people get sick of that after a while especially there's some places you don't want to be loud at you know, if you're in a restaurant turn your cell phone off um, but you do see I, I think in Chicago last year uh, somebody had a uh, on a train they find, I don't know how they they probably figured it out pretty quickly. You know, every day at eight, eight to nine, on uh, the specific train, people's cell phones stop working. Good for him, but jail for him. Bad. FCC does not appreciate you messing with the, the signals for some reason. Uh, and I also think there was one somewhere. I think it was Illinois, uh, kind of one of the suburbs. There was a certain area when cars would go through, cell phones didn't work. And I know it wouldn't have been something like this, probably something way more powerful, but they, they finally found the guy that had some uh, a cell jammer on. So that's what this does. So if you like to shut up cell phones, I guess, the, you know, the great place would this be uh, in a movie theater. Because I don't know how many people just sit in their movie theater with their cell phone in their hand, uh, even though you're not supposed to. It's not too bad now, but it used to be really bad. People just sit there and look at them. And uh, at least this would shut them up. But I'll tell you what, we're going to take out these four screws. It looks like it's supposed to slide it out and see what the circuit board looks like. Let me go find a screwdriver. Stay there. I'm not going to turn it on because turning it on makes it illegal. I think owning it's illegal too. I don't know. I'm kind of curious. Oh my. It has the typical soft as butter screws in it. You know what's going to happen. We'll get the third screw out. And the fourth one will be jammed in there and we'll have to drill it out. And I'll be mad. Mad enough to turn the cell phone jam around and shut people up. Uh oh. There we got her. We got her, baby. Oh, yeah. There's two. That one seems like it just spins and spins. Oh yeah, I see all the little flakes. Come on, baby. Oh, that one's coming out nice and smooth. Let's see. Did we get it? Of course, there's going to be one. It's not going to want to come out for some reason. Maybe put a little tension on it. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh. So this has... There's even more screws. There's screws at the top. Oh, you know what I bet? This slides out from the top. 
so I probably didn't have to take the bottom off. Well, now we know. A couple more chances of ruining some threads or the heads of some screws. We lost one. Well, it does have two LEDs on it. Uh, there's one at the bottom to show it's charging. And this guy, I don't believe it's holding the charge anymore, so I'm assuming the battery's dead. So that's kind of why we're taking this apart. I want to see what, I want to play with this a little bit. Um, come on, baby. This guy didn't feel very good. Oh boy. Come on, baby. Oh, we got her, we got her. Do we have it? She's spinning. Okay. So. Get that switch out. What do you think? Ah. It's in there pretty well. There it goes. Switch out without. All right, I got it. You had to pull it out. Go boink. Sometimes the simplest things are the hardest. Once I looked a little closer, I was like, they had to put that on afterwards. There's just no way. Okay, there you go. Wow, not what I expected. Looks like it's a metal. Look at all the glue. Uh, made in China but uh, battery. Let's see, is there any kind of indication what it is? There we got some information. It is a hmm 3.7 volts, so we can fix that. They like the glue, they glue it. You can solder there, soldered under there. Easy to fix. And here's Mr. Circuit Board. See, it looks like they have one, two, three radios, three antennas. Let's see if I can see. Hold on. Uh, the one chip says 2074C-S. The other one is hmm, D133 maybe. And the other one has some corrosion on it. DDST17 something something something. So I'm not sure what kind of information we're going to get off of this, but apparently three radios to mess with your cell phone, so it's a really nice this part of this half of the circuit board's fairly fairly nice. You can see it looks alright. Back side maybe uh, I don't know. Really nothing looks like there's some test pads on the back they really like the glue but that's okay so that's what's inside a 10 12 year old vintage cell phone jammer so I think what we're gonna do we can get a new battery for this that we can charge her up yeah, I think you can use it with the, uh, the plug-in but I mean, if you don't have it portable, it's gonna you know, be near a plug. So anyway, that is the vintage cell phone jammer. Have a great day.